After two deadly mass shootings in two days, calls for a closer look at online social media forums. Police say just minutes before the shooter in El Paso opened fire, he posted a racist manifesto online on a site known for spreading hate. Five year side investigator Sarah Buddison spent the day looking into it for us and its impact that it has on domestic terrorism. So, Sarah, I understand the site was cut off. That's right. Check this out, Danita. In this blog post, the CEO for the site says they terminated 8chan as a customer at midnight last night, effectively shutting it down, something a leading anti-hate group praised but also says is too little, too late. Run, me out, run. The massacre in an El Paso Walmart, the attack at a New Zealand mosque, and a shooting at a San Diego synagogue all begin the same way, with a racist manifesto posted on this website. 8chan, an online message board started to support unfettered free speech, has become known for racist writings, recruiting white nationalists, and manifestos by mass murderers. Today, Cloudflare, its internet security provider, reluctantly pulled the plug. It's a good step. Uh, we would like to see um, network providers and institutions that are backing these organizations to withdraw their support. James Pash is the regional director of the Anti-Defamation League, a leading anti-hate organization. Sites that are hosting hate and allowing hate to fester and spread, uh, the, those sites need to take responsibility for their content. You have to kick people off of them, and they need to, if they're not going to, they need to be shut down. So why is that important? The Secret Service just posted a new report on its study of mass attacks. It found most attackers had a history of a listing concern, including social media posts with alarming content. That's not all. Pash said the ADL documented a 20% spike in anti-Semitic incidents in Northeast Ohio last year. I don't think there's... Um, a silver bullet where it's one thing. Pash says stopping hate will also take treating domestic attacks for what they are, terrorism. We need to fully back our investigative tools and we need to treat white supremacist terrorism the same way that for years we've been treating Islamic radical terrorism. It needs that level of attention. Hate, of course, doesn't just spread online. There are still organized groups around the country. So how many are there in Ohio? Take a look at this map. Just last year, the Southern Poverty Law Center found 36 right here in Ohio. And as you can see, if you look at this map, there's a cluster right here in Northeast Ohio. I'm Five On Your Side investigator, Sarah Buddison.